called xenon for my periodic tables, which started with the letter X. But I think, yes. I think when I started uh, living here, I came up with my first X poem. Ah. This first one I'm going to read, which is related to the theme, is my second X starting poem. So I'm going to read both of the X poems for okay. this. So just because I can. X this files. One, X files. Um, <laughs> Actually, my third poem is called The Truth Is Out There, but it has nothing to do with the x -Files. <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> Other, than. Other than the name, which you think. Right. What? Um, this one is called X-Ray Metal Under My Skin. Ah. Went to a back doctor where chiropractors twisted my back, hearing strings of cracks along my spine at every appointment. And at one point, they took an x-ray of my chest and back, checking for disc injuries and inspecting the curve of my spine. Went into the office, and they brought me into a room, turned on a light box on the wall, and placed my x-ray in the light, and asked, What is this? <laughs> and they pointed at what looked like an angular spider missing a few legs on one of my veins. I stared for a moment, and then I think my eyes turned into saucers when I realized what this foreign object was in my body. Oh, that's a vena cava filter, I said to them. It was placed on me when I was in a coma, and they didn't know when I'd wake up. They looked at me for a second until I said, I've always wondered what that thing looked like. Uh. <laughs> and although it's metal in my vein, that would vibrate, tear through the vein to my heart, and instantly kill me if I ever had an MRI scan. Although this metal was placed in my vein without my consent when I was in a coma, despite this, I wanted this x-ray so I could feel some sort of connection to this invader. Mm -hmm. I know, I know, it's only there to stop blood clots from traveling to my heart or lungs or brain that would kill me. I know it's only there to help, but this foreign object has taunted me for too many years now, planting seeds of distrust in the back of my mind. This microscopic monster was placed into my vein, driving this love-hate relationship I now have with this non-human object embedded deep inside of me. I know it's there. At times I think I can feel it. I think this metal mini spider is also scratching at my soul to remind me that something foreign has invaded me and I can't claw it away. And while I hate it and I need it, it always reminds me that there is something deep inside me that will invade me like this forever. Whoa. Yeah. What kind of metal it is. It's funny because now they put vena cava filters in people that don't react to MRIs, but mine done in 98, whatever metal they chose to use is something that I get. So I'm like, I have to tell people I have to have medical bracelet, which is on my thing. It's like, no MRI, you can come wow. for this. And, you know, because <laughs> that would kill me if somebody said, oh, give her an MRI, and they'd kill me from it if they didn't know. Which might be one of the first things they would do. So, and that's why I'm like, yeah, yeah, must yeah. have this, and put that on records. Anyway, so this is why I've got it. Anyway, um, this one has nothing to do with the theme, but it's my other x starting poem because it has x-ray as the first word in the title. This one is called X-rays and Broken Hearts. Huh. Okay. X-rays of small children show two rows of teeth because once baby teeth are too small for the child, adult teeth push those baby teeth out, break through the gums, and take over the job. And this is really remarkable. <laughs> I mean, it's not like hair, which can always grow out. And even though skin is the largest human organ, it's not like shedding and growing more skin. It's not like cutting yourself and watching an organ heal. These are bones, because your body knows, before you're born, what you need in life. And I wonder why genetics hasn't figured out that we humans may need a new heart, a, a backup after it's been broken too many times. Mm. Because after you've been fired and someone else watches you collect your belongings and escorts you out forever, or after you can't remember how many resumes, and even if you've been interviewed, they never call you back, or after you find one true love, and well, that's when they move away to get away from you forever. 
or after your family dies and you're alone. After it feels like your heart is always about ready to break. It makes me wonder why genetics hasn't figured it out. We might need a backup. Our heart can only take so much. Yes! Like it just knows your body.